what's happening YouTube welcome back to another Yellowstone reaction dun, 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 dun. that probably doesn't sound like it should eh? don't worry don't worry so this is the only Yellowstone reaction channel on YouTube I think <laughs> I hope so I haven't even checked but everybody keeps on saying in the comments like I'm the only one doing it so I'm just taking all your words for it, and we are the only Yellowstone reaction channel on YouTube that's actually going properly into it, like going to do all the seasons. Aha! Uh -huh. So, back with episode 7 on season 2, uh, tensions accelerate as the Beck brothers become frustrated by the Duttons' unwillingness to play ball. Jamie looks for a fresh start. Tate gets his first horse. Let's go. Let's go. How many episodes are we going to have? Seven? Eight? Oh no, still a few. Eight, nine, and ten. Sins of a father. Enemies by Monday? Behind us only. John and Ripsy. Okay, I'm not even gonna because I don't I don't wanna know what happens. I don't wanna know what happens. So let's get into it. I hope you're enjoying. So this will either be Wednesday, Thursday, or Thursday, Friday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, shout out to Paramount and the uh, copyright holders for letting me do this. Thank you, appreciate it. Shout outs to you guys and Amazon. Sweet. Episode seven. Let's go. Exclusive. Oh, I've ordered some cool stuff for the rest of your listed reactions. It comes on Tuesday, so you'll see it next week. So excited! What's going on? Any problem? Any problems? Everywhere I turn, son. That's where you headed. You know, the only time I'm solely focused on the presence on this horse. Just need a long ride to remind myself what we're fighting for. You want some company? Well, you have a few problems that need fixing first, I'm afraid. Well, ain't that the thing about problems, Dad? No matter how long you're gone, they'll be right here when you get back. Grab a horse. Well, I just got to find someone to watch Tate real quick. I'll wait for you out here. You don't got to wait on me. I'll catch up. <laughs> you think, do you? Just tell me what direction you're headed. Peace. Come here much? Every chance I get. It's been 20 years. No, 21. 21 years and it feels like yesterday. I still feel her. Smell her. Been half a man without her. It's not an excuse, I was just a better father when she was with me. I hope you never know what that feels like, son. 
I already know what it feels like. tell you something and it comes from a place of love you should really consider killing yourself <laughs> I know somebody in the comments said they don't know about Beth like they like her for her Never seen anything stuff, like it. it. That's saying a lot, Ben. She like scares the hell out of me. Night on the victim. Oh. Dave Blackball from the casino. What happened? You gotta see it. What's the cause of death? He was strangled. You've seen that before. More times than I care to count. Why is there blood? Yeah, this I haven't seen. You know what that looks like to me? A message. A message. Yeah, hold on. So many things nice to know about the space horses now. and stuff like that. There you go. I mean, the maintenance, the upkeep. Right up there. There you go. And then all of this still added on to it as it. Yeah. Learn how to read the. Alright, what do you say? Should we get another one? You know yeah. Go get the gate for me. Oh, oh. We need to talk. Yes, sir. I need to talk to you first, Grandpa. It's very serious. All right. Do I need to be part of this conversation? You ain't got any money. That'd be him. <laughs> ah, this should be good. Raise the mouth. Come on. All right, grandson, let me have it. So I've made a decision. Not a fact. I'm going to be a cowboy. Well, that's a good thing. This ranch needs you to be one. Someday it's all, all gonna be yours. Well, that brings me to my problem. Okay. I don't have a horse. I can't be a cowboy without a horse. Yeah. Pretty tough to cowboy without a horse, that's for sure. So, can you buy me one? Well, if I buy it, how are you gonna pay me back? Oh, clean up the stalls or sweep out the barn. Mm, that's stark. Your dad's gonna have to train it because I don't have time for that shit anymore. Who's gonna feed it? Um, I, I will. Okay, you don't. It don't eat. You don't water it. It doesn't drink. I don't want to have to hear otherwise. You understand? So is that a yes? If it's a yes from your father, it's a yes from me. A puppy is one responsibility, but a horse... Daddy! Dad, you gotta train my horse! That's oh, a good way for kids to learn. Something that's not really promoted as much nowadays, I feel. I've got to be careful what I say. Because of YouTube's new... Can I help you, sir? I'm well, sure you can. Guidelines. Dan Jenkins. Your liquor license has been suspended. Until you... Do you know the story of Susan Rawlings? Real estate attorney from Hamilton. That's right. We had a mutually beneficial relationship until she figured out a way to bend the law to benefit her business more than my business. That's the problem with playing dirty, Beth. Because when someone plays dirty back, there's no one to cry to. There's no charges to file. There's nowhere to scream about the injustice you endured because if you do, all your filthy laundry just spills right out in the open for everyone to see. Susan finally realized that. He doesn't know who he's messing with. They moved her somewhere in California where they could help her move past. I think you the need trauma. to go to the train station. It's uncanny how much you look like her. You know, I was a pretty bad teenager. <sighs> Working through some trauma of my own. One might say I had a tendency to act out. At church one Sunday, I was feeling a little naughty, sitting next to this skinny little boy nobody liked. Out of pity, 
or boredom. I unzipped his slacks. I pulled out his penis and I gave him a hand job in the back pew. It's uncanny how much you look like that boy's dick. <laughs> All that tough talk, Beth. I've got the cure for that. Do you know? We'll see how tough you are after I give it to you. Okay. Challenge accepted. Ma'am. One out of a woman. I'll beat it every day. I'll break. Shit. Wait here. You know the thing about suicide, you, you don't just kill yourself, you kill every memory of you. This will be all everyone remembers, Jamie. Every second you spend on this earth will be reduced to how you chose to leave it. No one will mourn your loss, son, because this isn't losing your life. This is quitting it. Yes, it's quitting. I quit, Dad. I won't let you. Why not? What do you care? Because it's selfish. It's the single most selfish thing a person can do. This cannot be fixed. I cannot be fixed. I'm married to it. Jamie's got quite bad teeth, huh? I mean, I've got bad teeth. Your grandfather used to say that you, you can't fix a broken wagon wheel, but you can use the parts to make a new one. I should have never sent you off to school. You needed more time here. I can. I can still give you that. But you need to give me that rifle, son. The old you's dead the moment you let it go. Now we start working on the new one. All right, here comes the turn. Oh, that's you, Ethan. All in. That's you. I fold. Too steep for the lawyer. Yeah, you made the right decision. I know. You're gonna do fine, Jamie. I don't know how to play. What's that, poker? I don't know how to play that. Look at me. Look at me. Come in. Just a date. Lord knows you can afford it. 
Been wearing the same three pairs of jeans and jacket for a fucking <laughs> decade. Yeah. Probably got more money than me. No. Money's the one thing I don't have. You get paid every week, don't you? Mm. Yep. So what do you spend your money on? You keeping a sweet little place in town for Saturday <laughs> nights? Jesus Christ, why is it that your mind always stops the first thing that you should never do? What's wrong with that? If I was a man, I'd buy an apartment complex and I'd fill it with bucks and little bunnies. I'd start on the first floor Friday and end up on the roof by Sunday. <laughs> mm. I'm serious. Why do you spend your money on? Ah, oh, Beth, it's a nice night. Let's not run it with the truth. Tell me. Yeah, we've got to know now. I spent $22,000 on my mom's headstone. Stands about as tall as me. Marble. You got the guy to get your face into it. I spent 30 on my, my little brothers. It stands a little bit taller. I don't know, I guess I want him to be a little closer to heaven. Got the best money that I ever spent was 5000 to a grave digger in Forsyth. What did you pay him for? He dug up my father. He gave me his bones. And I drove from there all the way to North Dakota, throwing him out the fucking window. Yes. <clears throat> Oof. I remember the stories of heaven and hell in church. <sighs> Lies, a lot of it. I think heaven's right here. Mm. So's hell. One person can be walking the clouds right next to someone enduring eternal damnation, and God is the land. Look how that makes sense. Don't say it. It doesn't mean anything on a roof. Under stars like a bunch of fucking hippies. Hey, tell me. Tell me when it saves me. Okay. I won't say it. to do that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Excuse me, can I? Wait. Hey, no, no, no. Look at you pussies. Bet you jacked each other off on your way over. Jason, look at me. Jason! 
Look at me. They want to see you scared. Don't give them the satisfaction. Look at me. The boy's still standing after all those stabs in the throat. Don't give it to him. We don't care if he's scared. We here to scare you. Best of fucking luck. Yeah. Motherfucker! Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! In due time. Fuck you! I'm fading here. That's right, you pussy. Bleed out. Bleed out, you fucking pussy! I heard you had a mouth on you. You told me I should shut it or fill it. Whatever I choose. You think you could fill this mouth? Huh? I could fucking floss with your dick, you fucking... Yes, she is a beast. You pricks. Try and get away. My dad will even feel it. Go and pull it out. Pull it out! Let me fucking see it! Yes. Let me see that Neil God forced you to go through life with. You fuck. Fuck you. And your mouth. That's what I. Yeah, Beth is a savage. Who are you gonna mess most? Huh? Can you see him, Beth? Can you see their faces? Because they're never gonna see yours. Ever again. Because you ain't gonna have one. I'm gonna fucking blow it off. Blow it off! You fucking scared! Tell me you fucking scared! I'm not fucking you fucking scared! Fuck you. Fuck you. Take him to the hospital. I gotta get him to my office. I need to cauterize these wounds. Thank you for this. I don't know how this stays hidden, John. It'll stay hidden. I wanna go with him. 
bastard. No, they didn't. They didn't have chance. And your daughter is one hell of a fighter. This wasn't a crime, Dad. This was... I know what it is. I'll take care of this. Even though I don't like you, you have a stunning kitchen. issues about last night? No. I told her there were wolves down by the barn. She believed you? Yeah. <laughs> she got a lot to learn about women. What are we going to do about these Beck brothers? We're gonna kill him, son. It's at least they deserve. an exciting episode. Appreciate you all watching. <laughs> Rip and Beth, man. Rip and Beth. All day, every day. Oh. Appreciate you watching, and I'll be seeing you soon. Peace.